I'm Luisa Merz. I'm sitting here with uh, Luke van Langen, the CEO from Biasim, and I will ask you some questions uh, for our online MOOC. The first yeah. question is, what does your company do for the development of sustainability? Well, I could say I work with enzymes and then my uh, then I'm ready with it. But yeah, I heard once a good statement that frogs nor Biocatalysis are necessarily green. Eh? So, but still, I think I, I would say any enzymatic process in the end will improve a little bit. So that would be my position. I develop enzyme processes or help them being uh, implemented. So that makes the world every time a little bit more green. Why is sustainability of interest and importance for VSM? Well, I think sustainability is the future, is what everybody wants. So to discriminate a company like VSM, a technology company from, from others, I think that the advertisement of sustainability is important. And have uh, seen apart from any personal interest uh, that's for every, every human being. For company, I think it's good to, to position itself as a developer of green uh, technologies. Thank you. Then my next question is about our project interfaces. Why do you participate in interfaces and what is your role at the consortium? Well, my role is... Um, a so-called PI, <laughs> which means that I uh, employ uh, an ESR, an, an, a student that does research in the topic of greenification. Um, I give facilities together with the, the partnering organization and I help the ESR as far as they need <laughs> help. Uh, they are very independent, uh, the ESRs. And yeah, I think it's a very prestigious project. Uh, so to have such an opportunity is something you cannot say no to. And I have experience in a previous um, project that was very successful, very pleasant. So I didn't hesitate to to participate again in the application, uh, which is of course not a guarantee for success, but we were again, successful in writing a very good project. Yeah. Congratulations. What do you think? How does the job market in the biocatalysis or biotechnology field look like at the moment? And what do you expect for the future? Well, I think for the, for the moment, the job market is good in, uh, for, all, uh, for all fields. So definitely I would recommend people to go to it as soon as possible. Um, and because I think that macroeconomic situation at this moment is more important than maybe the the field eh, of uh, where you work. Um, of course, sustainability is heavily promoted. Uh, on the other hand, you have also competing technologies, as let's say batteries. Uh, it's more an inorganic uh, chemistry. And so it's not only biotechnology that will profit from this uh, let's say, attention, but in general, I would say, uh, be, be fast. Yes. And we can only look back at this video later and see <laughs> whether it's right. Yeah. <laughs> it was that, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Viasim is a biotech startup. How do you think biotechnology or specifically biocatalysis can contribute to the sustainability goals? Yeah. Um, I think... Mankind, until a certain moment, always has used biotechnology. And in that sense, has been sustainable just because of the numbers. And then only from a given moment, when we found those combustibles, we started to use them. 
and in principle just to have energy to convert things it, uh, materials from from the soil into something that we that we use um, very depending on that um, but if you look at what kind of compounds molecules of, of things we we need um of course we have food that is has always been by the technological eh? i mean chemical food never made it eh? so happily so that's yeah, that domain is still by technology. Um, then, of course, we have uh, many polymers, uh, specialty chemicals, metals um, that require a certain, next to the, the energy, an amount of, let's say, supporting molecules to make the process going that can poison for the environment or even the compound itself can. can uh, in the environment because they are not natural but in the end uh, nature always has an equivalent uh, you can have synthetic clothes but you can also have clothes from plants and then you have a color on the cloth it, it can be a chemical it can also be from the nature and even when it's not if it's from nature and you don't make it as in fire, and you make it in a, in a factory, you can use the technology of nature to make it. So I think that for 97, 98%, biotechnology has already the solution. We only have to, to make it work. And we have so much new, tech, new tools available nowadays that we can do that quicker. Yeah. And maybe at the end of the day, only metal is difficult to replace. And but yeah, we can also recycle it. So I don't know how you would think of it. Maybe our our cars will be of, of a polymer mm -hmm. that is in the end derived from a sugar. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, that's uh, that's future. Uh, that's the future. I'm, I'm quite positive that we can make it. Thank you. My next question is, how do you decide which enzymatic processes or procedures you perform in your company? Basically, it's what the customer wants. Uh, we, uh, of course, the intentions of these projects uh, can be can be anything. In uh, most cases, it is uh, making certain routes possible or, or cheaper. It doesn't have to be a non-green incentive, as I earlier said, it probably makes uh, the production somewhat more green. So it's not, it's actually the market that decides. I was in this project, we have more freedom to, to look a little bit more out of the box. And yeah, we came up uh, as a team with a few good ideas, things that probably need more attention, more development to get to the market, um, but probably have a bigger potential than the, the little contribution making step B to C green. Thank you. And when you have a multi-step route, do you think that one biocatalytic step in that route can have an impact on the overall process? Yeah, well, we... We have investigated, or in most cases, you speak about an, uh, a chemoenzymatic approach. Uh, compound A to B with an enzyme. Compound A might not come from nature. Someone made it, maybe with, with chemicals. So you, you always look at a small part of the whole chain. And sometimes you look at the whole chain, but still one part is, uh, let's say, enzymatic. But still, I think it is uh, it is contributing to a greener process, and yeah, we cannot rule out from day one all all chemistry. Uh, I think you can imagine there are always things right now that we cannot imagine. It's easily done by an enzyme, and so we have to pick out the uh, yeah the possible steps. Um, 
and then tomorrow we do the rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And another question I have is how important is publishing in scientific journals for your company? Well, it happens. So yeah, then uh, I would say it's, it has importance. I mean, it's, um, or not, uh, the goal of a company to, to publish. Um, I think for a big company, it happens and things just roll, roll, roll further for a smaller company. Visibility is, is more important. And of course, these things are also seen by community. Uh, don't think it's the, the prime route to getting attention. I think that there are more modern ways that we still have to learn. Um, but it's, uh, it's something I see that every now and then there must be something that it's clear for everybody that this company is still producing new things, not only that the company thinks it, but also some peer reviewed uh, articles can prove it. Okay. Thank you. You've worked before for a big biotech company. How does needing your own small company differ from working for such a big player? Well, technically I, I worked indeed for a, a big company, but I see it as a very long time ago. Um, so I think that you will probably know the answer on your question earlier than I will do. Um, and I think the answer is it's completely different. Um, so I speak now from a perspective of any, any, let's say scientist or worker in either a small or a big company. I think, uh, doing your own business is also a thing. Yeah, um, think about that saying. Um, it's difficult for me to, uh, yeah, to imagine how work would be in a, in a bigger company. Um, but I think you will soon uh, know the differences. And I think it's more structured. It's more, um, it's more support. Um, Probably you have less freedom, but okay, everything, everything has its pros and contras. Um, I think at the end of the day, everybody will end up in a place where he or she belongs. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you.